Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Let's clap together. Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two. Are you ready to stomp with me? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Welcome, welcome. It is so nice to get to sing and read with you today. Today we're going to be reading some grandma books because it is almost Grandparents' Day. Happy Grandparents' Day, everyone. So I hope all of you are getting a chance to call your grandmas and your grandpas and maybe even your great grandmas and grandpas this weekend to tell them you love them. <laughs> so let's use grandma as our word of the day today. Can you say that word? Grandma, grandma. Maybe you have a different word for your grandma. Maybe you call your grandma Mimi or Nani or Grammy. There are lots of different names for grandmas, but we will use grandma for our bread and butter rhyme today. So for bread and butter, we clap our hands and then we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say grandma as fast as we can. Grandma, 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 grandma. <laughs> That's pretty good. Grandma, 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 grandma. <laughs> How's it going at home? Here, let's try that one more time. Ready? Grandma, 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 grandma. <laughs> I like that one. All right, let's try another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say grandma as slowly as we can. Grandma. Great job, everyone. So you're gonna start with a G noise, a g g g g grandma. Great job. Let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say grandma as loud as we can. Grandma. Great job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say grandma as quiet as we can. Grandma. Good job. Let's see what our first grandma story is today. And we're going to start off with a silly grandma story. This is called How to Babysit Grandma. How to Babysit Grandma. Have you ever babysat your grandma? Hmm, let's see. How to Babysit Grandma by Jean Reagan and illustrated by Lee Wildish. Let's see what happens. When you babysit a grandma, if you're lucky, it's a sleepover at her house. Have you ever had a sleepover at your grandma's house before? Pretty exciting. What should you do when you get to the door? Hmm, you could put on a disguise and say, guess who? You could knock a secret knock on the door that only you two know. Tap, tap, tappity tap. If you like cats, you can meow, meow. If you like dogs, you can bark, woof, woof. If you like goldfish, you can, hmm, say bubble, bubble. When she opens the door, shout, Grandma, your babysitter is here. Hug your mom and dad goodbye and say, Don't be sad. I'll be home too. I'll be home soon. Now tell your grandma all the fun things you have planned. How to keep grandma busy. Go to the park. Bake snickerdoodles. Have a costume parade? Go to the park to feed the ducks? Do yoga? Look at family pictures? Go to the park to go on the swings? Play hide and seek? Make goofy hats? 
go to the park to go on the slide, have a dance puppet, a dancing puppet show, read stacks of books, go to the park to take pictures, do puzzles, play cards. As a babysitter, you need to let her choose. Of course, she'll want to go to the park. Do you like to go to the park? I do, especially on the slide. What to do at the park? You could slide down the bumpy slide and the twirly slide. If she's really brave, try the tallest slide of all. Push your grandma on the swing, but not too high. Remind her to pump her legs. Feed the ducks. Show her help, how to help the shy ones get food. And don't forget, good babysitters always say, five more minutes before it's time to go. Back at home, plan some more fun. How to play with a grandma. Grab two microphones. Oh, do you see what they have for microphones? They're holding hair brushes. Grab two microphones and sing a duet. You might want to try You Are My Sunshine or Happy Birthday or make up a song together. Line up all your shoes and play shoe shop. Ooh, look at all the cool shoes they have. I even see some scuba diving shoes. And what are those? Are those bunny slippers? <laughs> if your grandma likes fancy things, decorate her with ribbons, bows, and stickers. Shout, ta-da! when you hand her the mirror. Oh, I think grandma wasn't the only one getting decorated. Look, the doggy has bows too. Soon it's time for dinner. Your grandma may be a yummy cook, but share your tricks to make everything taste even yummier. Add sprinkles to everything. Well, almost everything. Arrange the food to make silly faces. Shut your eyes as you take each bite and say, mm, 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 mm. Wow, look at all the food they have. Wait a second, what's she putting sprinkles onto? Is it buttered bread or is it bread with cheese? I don't know if I would want sprinkles with cheese. <laughs> when it starts to get dark, take your grandma outside to help her find the first star. Back inside, snuggle up and read some books. Turn the pages slowly so she can find everything in the pictures. Ask your grandma for stories about when your mom was little. What was mom's favorite thing to do at the park? Did she ever get in trouble? Was her grandma as much fun as you? Teach her how to say, I love you without even making a sound. Now let your mom or your grandma choose where she wants to sleep. Here are the places she could sleep. In a tent? On the floor? Oh no, she rolled up in the carpet. On the couch? Oh, that looks uncomfortable for grandma. In a little bed or in the big bed? If she asks, should we leave the night light on and the hall light and the door open? Say, yup, yup, yup. Once you're both tucked in, make shadow puppets. Have your, your shadow foxes kiss goodnight. Mwah, mwah. If she's missing your mom and dad, tell her, they'll be here tomorrow, bright and early. In the morning, when you hear a knock, Open the door, dressed up as twins. <laughs> After you've all packed up, comes the hardest part, saying goodbye. Here is how to say goodbye to a grandma. Let her borrow some sprinkles, some books, some stickers, some ribbons. Say, I love you without making a sound. Give a big hug and ask, can I babysit you again? The end. Look at all the fun they had. <laughs> Was that a silly story? I think she had a lot of fun babysitting her grandma. What do you think?
I think so. Let's go ahead and sing some grandma songs. So this is Grandma Mo's, and the song goes like this. Grandma Mo's was sick in bed. She called the doctor and the doctor said, Grandma Mo's, you're not sick. All you need is a cinnamon stick. Now you're gonna shake with me, ready? Can you shake your cinnamon sticks? Here we go, we're gonna shake up. Shake up, shake, 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 and shake down, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake all around. Shake, 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 shake out of town. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Great job, everyone. So we cured grandma with a cinnamon stick. What other kind of sticks are there? How about a walking stick? You might use a walking stick when you're outside going for a hike. Or sometimes people that are having trouble walking, they might use a walking stick too. So let's use a walking stick this time. Are you ready? Here we go. Grandma Mo's was sick in bed. She called the doctor and the doctor said, Grandma Mo's, you're not sick. All you need is a walking stick. Grab your walking stick, everyone. Here we go. Walk up, walk, 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 and walk down, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walk all around. Walk, 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 walk out of town. Walk, 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 walk. Good job, everyone. Can we think of any other kind of sticks? How about a hockey stick? Can we get, grab a hockey stick that we used to play hockey with? Here we can go like this. Yeah, all right, here we go. <laughs> Grandma Mo's was sick in bed. She called the doctor and the doctor said, Grandma Mose, you're not sick. All you need is a hockey stick. Play up, 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 and play down, up, bump, up, up. Play out all around, do, do. <laughs> and play out of town, do, 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 do. All right, can we come up with one more? Let's see. Okay, so we have the cinnamon stick, we had the walking stick, we had a hockey stick, how about a peppermint stick? That's kind of similar to a cinnamon stick, but peppermint sticks are kind of like a, they're uh, like candy canes. A peppermint stick is like a candy cane. It's like a sweet. So we can try that. Should we do that? We can do a little, we can make it a, a peppermint stick like this, just like a candy cane with a curl at the end. All right, let's give that a try. Are you ready? Maybe you can even join in and sing some of the words with me. Here we go. Grandma Mose was sick in bed. She called the doctor and the doctor said, Grandma Mose, you're not sick. All you need is a peppermint stick. Stick up, stick, 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 and stick down, stick, stick. Stick, stick, stick all around. Stick, 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 stick out of town. Stick, 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 stick. Great job, everyone. Thank you for doing that silly song with me. All right, let's go ahead and say lots of thank yous to our grandmas. We love them so much, and we're so lucky that we get to have them. So we're going to clap for our grandma. Do you think we can do that? Let's clap together. Here we go. Nice job. We're going to clap our hands for grandma. Let's clap our hands for grandma, for grandma, for grandma. Let's clap our hands for grandma because we love her. Clap this way and that way and that way and this way. Can you clap around the circle? Good job. Let's clap our hands for grandma because we love her. Good job. All right, now let's nod our head for grandma. Can you nod your head? Can you give your head a nod like that? Good job. Let's nod our heads for grandma, for grandma, for grandma. Let's nod our heads for grandma because we love her. Nod this way and that way and that way and this way. Let's nod our heads for grandma because we love her. Good job. Let's stomp our feet this time. Are you ready? We're going to stomp our feet for grandma. Here we go. Let's stomp our feet for grandma, for grandma, for grandma. Let's stomp our feet for grandma because we love her. Stomp this way and that way and that way and this way. Let's stomp our feet for grandma because we love her. 
<laughs> Great job, everyone. Let's do one more. We'll go back to clapping our hands. Are you ready to clap your hands one last time with me? Here we go. <laughs> Let's clap our hands for grandma, for grandma, for grandma. Let's clap our hands for grandma because we love her. Clap this way and that way and that way and this way. <laughs> Good job. Let's clap our hands for grandma because we love her. Great job, everyone. That was wonderful. Let's see what our second and last story is today. We have a Todd Parr story. This is The Grandma Book. The Grandma Book by Todd Parr. Let's see all the grandmas in the grandma book. Some grandmas have lots of cats. Some grandmas have lots of purses. Some grandmas give you good advice, like be nice and eat your vegetables. Do any of you have grandmas that say, be nice? Some grandmas give you lots of books. Ooh. All grandmas are happy when you spend the night. Oh. Some grandmas help their neighbors. Look, the grandma's giving out soup. Some grandmas tell, help take care of their grandkids. Does anyone at home stay with their grandma and grandpa while their parents are at work? Lots of kids do that. Some grandmas like to make you eat a lot of food. Some grandmas like to make you things. Oh, I think the grandma made a big sweater. All grandmas like to hear from you. Oh, they're calling on the phone. Some grandmas like to dance. Do, do, do. Some grandmas like to play bingo. What does your grandma like to do? Some grandmas live with a grandpa or grandma. Some grandmas live with their friends. Some grandmas drive slowly. Some grandmas drive fast. Vroom! Can you see what this grandma is driving? She's driving either a wheelchair or a scooter and going so fast. Vroom! All grandmas like to give you lots of kisses. The end. Grandmas are very special. They make sure you are warm and safe and that you always have a full tummy. They know everything. Tell them that you love them every day. Love, Todd Parr. <laughs> the end. Great listening, everyone. I think we're ready to end story time with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready to stand up and find your head? Can you find your head with me? Good job, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Do you think we can do it a little faster? All right, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you all for coming today and Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. I hope you all have the most wonderful week. I hope all the grandmas and grandpas out there have a wonderful Grandparents' Day, and I can't wait to read to you all next week. See you soon. Bye-bye.